see Let's see how it goes there we go yay hello happy monday i hope everyone had a wonderful weekend and that you had a good day today beautiful fall weather i love this weather it's so nice for sleeping mm. Except for the dog grinding his teeth and the husband snoring. It would be ideal. I'm Shannon. This is Paper Delights. And I come on every evening, Monday to Friday, to inspire you and stir the imagination. And tonight, I thought we would try some cards with this World of Memory and More card pack. So instead of getting the big set in the catalog... I'll show you. So instead of getting the big set, if I can find it, it's in here. I know it is. There it is. Nope. <laughs> oh, you'd think I'd have this ready ahead of time, but you know. I did not. Why there? Because it's up at the front, that's why. So, this is the World of Good Suite. And in it is the beautiful paper and this really nice um, suede ribbon, which I got, I really like it, it's very nice. And it has um, a stamp set and some dies that will punch out all these things. So, I thought it was really nice, but it's not something that I would typically gravitate to, but my daughter's boyfriend loves maps. And so I thought, well, maybe I could get a little something. So what they offer stamping up, because some people aren't necessarily um, card makers, right? Um, maybe you like to scrapbook. So what they have in here is they've got some scrapbook uh sets as well so the world of good memory and more card pack that's what i picked up so you get a few different things than the actual set but it's still super super nice it would make for some great um, um scrapbooking pages so so that's the pack that i got and it has all these beautiful cards plus it also gives you um stickers you can stamp and put them on uh, we're going to use some of these things obviously because i've cut them up and stuff and it gave me some beautiful embellishments of the globes and stuff like that which we're going to use and then you get these cards here i think they're five by seven so they're a little bit bigger than than a regular card that you'd put in the mail but that's not to say you couldn't trim it off a little bit and they're so nice wait until you see some of the cards it makes card making I must admit really simple and um, you don't have to stamp or anything because a lot of it is already done for you so it had some really nice ones with some foiled elements and then it has these smaller cards which are double-sided as uh, as well and they have different sayings on them or they have um, different colors like it's just a great set so great little set if you know you like something but you don't want to buy the whole pack or what have you so so let's make a few cards with this set because it is so nice so this is the in style this is cinnamon cider so it's a it's like a brown uh, pale brown so this it, it's a really simple card so this is one of the small cards this is one of the bigger ones that I just sort of cut down to fit but it has that beautiful um, foil part right it's just it's lovely hey Pam hi Patty so my idea was that we just put this on and then put this on be the change you wish to see in the world and then this on the inside because I had this strip left over from when I trimmed it that I just put it on the inside. So it's a really simple card but like I said with with those packs and there was one with flowers too 
um, that you could get. It makes card making really, uh, really quite lovely and simple. So we'll probably blow through a bunch of cards real quick because like I said, there's not a whole lot to them. I guess I should have put that on the other side, but uh, I'll leave it. It's fine. This one I didn't add anything extra to it because I thought the the foil was uh, pretty snazzy, so I left that like that. So like I said, my daughter's boyfriend, I guess you could call him my eventual son-in-law, um, loves maps and stuff like that. So I kind of grabbed this because I thought it'd be nice to have some cards to make um, that he would like, right? And I have been asked lately um, for some more masculine sort of cards and I didn't have, I couldn't think of anything to be quite frank. So I thought, well, maybe if I picked up some paper, it would be a little bit easier. And I'm telling you, these card sets, paper sets really do make it so much easier. So this one, I'm just going to pop up just to give it a little bit of dimension, but you don't have to if you don't want to. It's pretty pretty simple. So how are those pumpkins uh, looking at your place there, Pam? Pam came and got all the pumpkins in one foul swoop. <laughs> she was the prize winner. All right, there you go. You'll have to set a, send a, uh, post a picture of them all set up when you, when you get there. There you go. Really simple, but I think it's really pretty. All right, next one. This one's a little fancier. So this one is um, Misty Moonlight. It's a nice color. It's like a blue-gray kind of color. It's really pretty. So we did it going four and a quarter by 11, I think it is. Why can I never remember that? Anyway, folded in half, and then I folded it in half again. So the pieces that I chose was I loved this one in this small pack and I thought that would look really pretty there and then I really liked this piece here that had the like I don't know what that's called the scope or what have you so I thought I would put that piece there and then it had the sticker find the joy in the journey which I thought I'd put on top and then when you opened it I was gonna put one white card there and then this one I thought about, because I had this empty spot, and I still had some of these smaller cards, so I thought I could put it that way, but then the writing's going the wrong way. So I thought I'll turn it this way. So at least the writing's going the right way. And we could add some embellishments, the sticker embellishments that it comes with. So that was sort of my plan for that one. So, oh yes. I had some of those. So it comes, like I said, it comes with a bunch of stickers. The cards all often, the smaller cards all have things sort of written on them. So all you have to do is sort of get your card stock, put your paper on. So let's see on this side it says, and so the adventure begins. And so like if you were doing a scrapbook, you could write in your little information in there. So I'm going to put this one sort of in the middle. And there were so many nice things to choose from in the pack. I tried to choose a little bit of each so that you can kind of see a little bit of everything that was in the pack. But it was hard to pick just, just a few. They were all so nice. I think there's like six cards or what have you. So like I said, they're simple, so we'll probably breeze through a bunch of them here tonight. Let me see if I can make sure that this is sort of even. There we go. There, look at that. See? Stickers, some tape, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, except for maybe getting the other stickers off here. <laughs> oh, it's very sticky, just saying. 
So I thought this piece I'd sort of put down the middle. Oh my goodness. See if I can flick it off. I can't even flick it off. It won't come off. Um, so my idea was I would put this piece sort of here. And I'm trying to make it even. Kind of like that. A little sparkle. And then we have the the quill. Why does it not want to come off? My writing utensil does not want to cooperate. And here I am trying to pick the backing of it. There we go. There we go. All right. It's very sticky. So I thought that we could put that there. Isn't that pretty? And then we have these, which I thought we could put up here. We could put over there. Could put it anywhere. Maybe even over here. One down here. One up here. Honestly, can't put it anywhere you like. Can't go wrong with this one. There. So again, just a little bit of cutting. Everything is all done for you. Nice, eh? How simple is that? All right, last one, maybe, I think. Oh yes, this one's a nice one too. So again, this is the cinnamon cider. Just fold it in half. And then I loved this brown. And then I cut this one to go on the inside. So you could have, I could have done this one on the inside, but I thought I'd put this side on the inside of the card. That's what I like about this set. Like, I don't have to just put plain white. Um, on the inside I can make the inside fancy too. I can make it all fancy. So we'll pop this on the inside because I thought that looked really sharp. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is a map of, I don't know, I think it might be Cumberland Durham. So I think this is England. Birmingham. Yeah, I think it's England. So some of the maps you can kind of tell where they're from. So, I'm gonna go on here. And then this was one of the little cards. So this, again, you could have written something on there, but I love this one here, Dream, Discover, Explore. But I wanted to sort of make it all kind of fancy, so I thought, uh, let's cut this in half. I thought of putting a little piece of this um, metallic paper sort of in behind. even put it in the middle so it kind of looks like it's going straight through but it's really not but no one will know except for you and then my idea was so this is one of the stickers was to put the sticker on somewhere and then I had the three dots and then I had the gold element there so I think for my thing to fit I need that to sort of go there. So here, let's put these ones on first. I'm just trying to think of what I need to put on first. So I'm gonna put those ones on first. This one, I'm just sort of making sure that I'm going to have space for my sticker here. And then I'm trying to line it up. So, there. And then you have, it has two gold stickers. How about we do this gold sticker first? Or the globe sticker, I should say.
Just trying to get it so it doesn't go off the edge. There. Isn't that pretty? It's such a nice pack of uh, paper. It makes, like I said, it makes the cards really easy. And I love all the um, embellishments they give you. It's really nice. Because then you don't have to, you just peel it and stick it on. It doesn't really matter where you go put it because everything's going to match and go. So. up here would be cute. I'm just sort of eyeballing it with the right spot so hopefully I've got it in the right spot or the right distance. It's kind of hard from this angle but there! There we go. Dream, discover, explore. Isn't that nice? All right. Some quick cards tonight. Very quick cards. Which ones are your favorite? make four tomorrow. There we go. Any favorites? Well, you can't go wrong with any of them, that's for sure. And I'm pretty sure my daughter's boyfriend will like any of them, so. But I thought they were perfect. Have some masculine type cards. I mean, you could even send them to some ladies too that like to travel, for sure. So there we go. So thank you so very, very much. Uh, just a reminder that the paper sale starts um, on October 1st. Oh, and I also wanted to show everyone. Um, so I'm doing my very first breast cancer fundraiser with cards. These aren't the exact cards that we'll be making, but I wanted to show you this is what the paper is. It's called Toll Tidings. It's so pretty and it's, it's just so lovely. So um, you'll get uh, a pack to make eight different designs, uh, sorry, four different designs, eight cards. You'll get a six by six pack of the paper, which is extra. It's yours to make extra cards if you want. You'll get two yards of the scalloped lace ribbon, two yards of the red linen and some sheer ribbon. You'll get a quarter of a pack of some gems and you'll get two 3D projects. None of the cards will have um, sentiments, so if you want sentiments, you can um, do an add-on um, for an additional $30. So you get all of these things for $40 and the proceeds will go to breast cancer. So uh, research, breast cancer research. So it's a win-win, right? You donate to breast cancer and you get some Christmas cards. So if you're, some, if you're interested in this, please uh, send me a message and we'll get you registered. And uh, I'll be doing a little video coming on live on October 25th to do a few of the cards with you, but we'll also record it so that you can watch it on YouTube at a later date or a later time if you're not able to join us then. So yeah, so there we go. And next month will be a little bit different. Um, I'll be doing um, different um, information about breast cancer all of the month of uh, October. So a little bit different format, but it's pretty, uh, pretty dear to my heart. So thank you so, so much for joining me this evening. I hope you have a wonderful day. And we will see you all tomorrow at 7. Have a wonderful evening. Take care. Thank you.